Hello everyone, it's Melanie here with Vintage Hill Studio. I'm so glad you joined me today. I'll be doing a mixed media bookmark that looks like this. So I started with a gardening magazine that contains uh, flowers and seeds for sale and the images were just so beautiful. They look like they're hand drawn. And I decided to use these as part of my mixed media kind of upcycling project for this bookmark. So I simply go around and see which images I'm attracted to with the shapes and the colors and I'll just cut out several of those with my scissors just doing a little bit of fussy cutting here it really doesn't take any time to get this done just to give you a big variety to choose from when you're laying out your bookmark so as you will see I've got several of these cut out and I have so much to choose from as far as shapes sizes colors etc. I even cut out some of the black and kind of cream color here and I thought those were so interesting. So I will move forward here with an old book that I found. Um, you can see the print is very legible. It will make a great um, print for bookmarks. And this book is so cool because it contains some images as well and I thought that would lend itself very well for a mixed media bookmark. So I'm going to just start with this page and I'm going to get this cut down using my Caterpillar Pro paper cutter. This is a self sharpening paper cutter so every time I go back and forth with this wheel it sharpens the blade itself. The other nice feature is that little built-in light strip that you see. This allows me to see what part of the image will be left after I do my cutting here. So there is the basis of a couple of bookmarks. They're two inches by six inches. I will simply come over with a pattern paper now that I think looks good behind that bookmark foundation and I'll get that adhered together using some liquid adhesive. By using liquid adhesive it allows me to shimmy this around and move it just ever so slightly to make sure I have it centered on my bookmark before that liquid adhesive dries. So it's just a little more forgiving than any kind of like tape runner. Okay, so there is the basis of our bookmark. And I'm going to go through some of those images that I cut out from my gardening magazine and see what kind of visually appeals to me here. I've got a lot to choose from and can be used anywhere on this bookmark so just play around with it. Whatever kind of catches your eye go with it. There's no right or wrong to any type of art project like this just go with what really appeals to you. I was kind of liking the shape and size of this purple cluster. I decided to bring over um, some of these old tickets that I have just for a little bit of uh, interest on the front of this bookmark and to add to the mixed media feature. Now to age this up a little bit I'll bring over my distress ink in vintage photo and just quickly go around the edges. I think this ties in better with the yellowish tint of that old book page as well as the image that's up top there with a little bit of that yellowish color. Okay, now I need to get this to fit around that little ticket, so I'll just do a little more snipping here on my flower cluster. That just gives me some more options here of working with the ticket and the flowers. And I'm liking the way that looks, so I think I'll go with that, but my ticket's a little bit long, so I'm going to just tear this with my fingers. I want a little bit more of an organic look to this ticket. So I'll just rough it up on the edge here and then I'll come back with that vintage photo and get that to blend in a little better. Okay, so my ticket's ready to go on the front with my little flower cluster that I can tuck behind or in front of the ticket. Just playing around here. I'm not going to adhere anything until I move along with all my, my other mixed media pieces. This is just a little piece of ribbon here. I thought it went well with the color in the car above it as well as pulling in the colors down below from the center of those purple flowers and also from my ticket. So just visually trying to tie this bookmark together. 
All right, and then I might as well go ahead and use the other end of that ticket that I tore off. Now I'm moving forward with this Tim Holtz, um, let's see, this is called Metallic Sticker Book, and you can see you have both black and white stickers that are printed in a gold metallic. I thought I'd start with this black and see how that looks, and it looks okay. It's just a little bit stark for me. Uh, you will notice you also have these little medallions and labels you can work with. And I thought, okay, well, I could go with the white, but that's a little too stark. So I put my black sticker back on, and I'll flip over to the white section here. And I've got the same quote, own your story. And that would be a little lost as well, so I'm going to use one of these black labels to help offset that little quote. That was okay. Um, just fiddling around here, I think it would look better in this larger label. So in order to get that to fit, I will just simply cut that apart. And you see how this is going to go together very quickly? All right. Now so that that's not looking so stark, I'm coming back with that vintage photo and I'll just slightly go around the edges of my little sticker there. And I think that will make a more cohesive look with the rest of my bookmark. Just aging that up a bit so that the colors are similar, but it, the quote will still stand out because it is a little lighter than anything else on my bookmark. So I will go with the second part of my little sticker here and get that put down. And then I'll quickly move that from the lid of my ink holder. I just stuck that down so I could make sure I got my sentiment on there centered. And I'm going to start adhering things to my bookmark, beginning with this little label and quote. And I think it will tuck in just fine right here. Okay. Now I will go through and very quickly start adhering all the other little pieces and parts. This was so much fun. I just was thinking I love using the book pages because I love reading books as well. Um, but using a book page is kind of a cool thing to do for the mixed media here. And I'm thinking, wouldn't it be cool if you had some memorabilia that means something to you or to someone else, like tickets to a concert or a movie back when you got regular tickets for things, or even a little passage out of a handwritten letter from someone. There are so many possibilities of what you could do with these mixed media bookmarks. And if you want to personalize it for someone, make sure you ask them if they've got any little memorabilia or media they wouldn't mind you using to make a personalized bookmark. Anyway, the possibilities are endless. I needed one extra thing here in this little space above. It just looked a little plain to me, so I reached over for some of my snippets from Tim Holtz and decided to add a butterfly. I'm going to go with more of this medium size that also pulls the colors from the top and bottom of my bookmark and that pretty much completes the front of my bookmark. You can see I came over, found the center, and I'm going to simply take a handheld hole punch and give myself a hole there for the top of the bookmark. The last thing I like to do to add stability is to use my scotch laminator and some thermal sheets and run that through to just protect the bookmark and of course make it more durable. So instead of wasting that whole sheet I just simply snipped it down the side giving it plenty of a easement on the sides because you're going to come back and trim this and you'll be able to see when it goes through the laminator it leaves a little light like ghost line around all four edges you don't want to clip into that because then that would break the seal so once this is laminated just take your scissors and clip around there and then you have a very finely finished bookmark I hope you enjoyed this video, that you get inspired to look around to see what you might use for mixed media bookmarks. 
and go have some fun creating these and giving them away. I'm so glad you dropped by today. I hope you will leave me some comments, subscribe to my YouTube channel or my card blog. I have my link at the front and back of this video. And I hope to see you again next week. Happy crafting, everyone!